friends welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome in my name is Denise and on this channel we do get ready with me's hauls and sometimes vlogs so if you like content like that please do consider subscribing and if not that is perfectly fine um I do have my eyebrows done already because I can't do them on camera I don't know why I literally I been doing them on camera for the past few videos I've been doing but for some reason me just shutting my mouth it just my eyebrows look better I don't know anyways um this is part three of the Sephora haul girl it is way too many products um to put it all in one video because trust me I would put it in one video but there's too many of the same product that I can't try them all in one video so Today is the last day of the Sephora sale, it's the 24th, so there should be some videos coming up and then that should be it for the Sephora sale. Even if the Sephora sale is not happening, these are still very good products to be trying at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's just get started, girl. I am currently having a little, a little rock on my face, so I really don't know why this is happening because usually my skin is doing really good, but it's okay. Before we start, sorry, um, most of the products I'll be using today will be linked in the description, even what I did for my eyebrows, even if I don't show what I'm using or I don't talk about it, it's still in the description, girls, so if you want to go see it, it should be there. We have almost a full face of new makeup. Some of this makeup I did review and do first impressions on my last video, so if you want to go check that out, it will be in the cards, but I will let you know which product I haven't tried. So, that's one of the first products is this Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. And honestly, I got it simply because of influence. I don't know if this product was going to work for me, but I decided to get it anyways. I just feel like it's great for the glowy base. And if you're wondering why it's doing this, is because I did apply the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched um, Cream Base Cream. I have been letting that dry, but it is a pretty thick layer of it. So, and I probably should have put the niacinamide first and then the Bobbi Brown, but that's fine. Now, I did try this like already by itself for like skincare, and I loved it because I, I love the Laneige makeup serum. It was just so beautiful and so I really wanted to see if the glow, glow recipe was exactly like this because yeah, this is cute but it's expensive. This has 30 milliliters and then this one's 40 milliliters. So you get 10 more milli milliliters in this one. But yeah, I really love this while I was using it, but it's just like the applicator. It doesn't do its best job on getting all the product. Anyways, it is a beautiful serum and definitely worth a try if you're interested. So I, we're going to see how this sits under makeup. So yeah, very excited. And then this is the Bobbi Brown cream that I was talking about. I've used this like three times already. And for my dry skin, this is literally perfection okay so i'll be back in a couple of minutes when this dries down okay we're back and it is a dry down i don't know why but this feels like a little tacky maybe it's just me but yeah then i'm going in with the elf niacinamide this is not new all my girlies know i love this i also love the original elf power grip but i just feel like the niacinamide is just a lot better so you need to let like 30 seconds i think it's like 30 seconds to let this dry but hello kitty fan next i'm going to be using the say glow super gel no the glow super gel yeah i use this in my last video and I got a really good first try because we were also trying the NARS light reflecting light reflecting foundation and if you haven't tried say before say products specifically just products in general they smell like lotion but like not like nasty lotion just like cocoa and like vanilla and just so good they just smell fresh, if you know what I'm talking about. They smell like they have clean ingredients. I would apply products to the forehead as well, but I already have my concealer up there, so... Anyways, yeah. I really, really, really like this for like... Like, even right now... Like, 
the glow is unreal. I also have the Mini Rare Beauty Illuminizer Primer and I tried this a couple of times but I just really I feel like I haven't given it a fair try because I'm using it with a matte foundation so I don't know about this yet I'm not gonna really talk about it because I still don't know about it um, and I've used it like so many like few times that I just can't give a rough judgment on it so but this one so far I really love it next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of color corrector just like under my eyes because we are using a really light concealer today so I just want to make sure that those areas don't gray or become gray or look gray so next um, I'm very excited because we're gonna be trying a foundation and I feel like I have really high hopes for this foundation because I heard it's full coverage but like super thin at the same time so yeah, it's the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 Moisturizing Skin Tint. Yeah, anyway, um, this is in the shade Medium Sand. If you guys didn't watch my previous video, I did mention that I had to go back to Sephora and go get a different shade for this because uh, the shade I thought was my shade is not my shade. So this is what we're working with a little bit warm but I'm really hoping you'll just sheer out okay nice so it is a super warm <laughs> yeah I don't know why but this one and the NARS run really warm and not very neutral but honestly one drop for me was enough I feel like it covered up the areas I wanted it to cover so we'll just see how it mixed with all my other products this was another new product that I got was the Rare Beauty Born One Mist and I did first impressions in my previous video as well so we're gonna use this to just kind of melt all the foundation in so far, I love how it's not covering up the say glow and it's really like glowy. So it does give what it gives in the name. Next, I am extremely excited to have this product in my hands because it has been out of stock for the longest time. And that product is the LYS um, No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Harmony. And specifically in the shade Harmony because of creators like Meredith where she would use this in every single one of her videos and it literally was out of stock for months and only Harmony was out of stock. No other product was out of stock, all of the other shades were in stock except Harmony. So it went back in stock for uh, the Sephora sale so thankfully. Um, I was super excited to open this and so I did and thankfully I did because the tip is broken so whoever opened it and broke the tip off and then sent it back not a little bit broken like just really broken so that kind of sucks oh oh wow she is uh okay the stick feels very weird for some reason i don't know why okay i feel like that's a pretty good amount <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to be using my same foundation brush and blending it out. Oh my goodness, wow, that is pretty. It is very pigmented and it also smells really good. It smells like cocoa. Honestly, the formula is very like buttery and it reminds me a lot of the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Also, I love the packaging, like, that is so cute. Next for blush, um, I do have this Merit blush that I haven't tried. And I've been eyeing it a lot. So, we're just gonna try it. Ooh. You know what, I thought it was gonna move my foundation, but it didn't. This is in the shade Cheeky. Yeah, it doesn't like lift it. I was really scared it was just gonna lift my whole thing foundation. 
Oh, wow. I'm just going to use this big brush from e.l.f. This blush is very light. It's like there, but it's very light. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. And this is in the shade Pink Pop. I also reviewed this one in my previous video. Well, not previous, but the one before that one. Oh yeah, it's like the right amount of blush that we need. I also tried this Too Faced Eternal Light Concealer in my previous video as well. And honestly, I need to talk about this because she is beautiful. Oh my god. If you like the NYX Bear With Me Concealer, this is the higher end version. I thought this was going to be way too light for me, but turns out it is just the right color. I'm going to go in with a Rare Beauty and just spray my whole face in it. And then let this dry and then we could start blending. And then one more time I'm going to go in and spray again just to help set everything. Then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray girl if you're new here we use a lot of setting spray I just feel like it really just helps put all the products together and now for my favorite part um, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder in the shade honey now, in my last video, I did use this as well, and I was a little impressed because it is very blurring, but I did not expect it to be very close to my skin color. So we're just going to use this big brush and then tap off the X's in here. Since this is a translucent powder, you can really just use this anywhere on your face. I'm gonna use a brightening powder and I'm gonna use this one by Essence. This is very bright and so I feel like that's just like what my under eyes need right now. See, just a little brightening powder. Okay, now that we have a little bit of a bright under eye, um, we're gonna move on to our next product and this is the Makeup by Mario Bronzer. Sculpt Bronzer. That's what she looks like. I'm gonna use this Flawless Face Elf Brush. Oh my god, it is so compact. Guys, I love this bronzer, what the hell? I'm usually not a big fan of bronzers. I just feel like they don't fit on me right, but this is really cute. Um, I am going to add some powder blush because... Clearly, Mary was meant for a clean girl day, and this is not very clean girl. This is very matte. It fits the theme very well. This is the Melon Mauve Powder Blush. I'm going to use this very fluffy brush. Oh yeah, see it just helps that bronzer just not look so harsh. Oh, this is such a pretty blush. Like the this is Melon Walk and it's so like pretty. It's such a pretty pink and I feel like if it's almost every skin tone, I don't know about that. But I feel like it does. So today we're gonna actually add some highlight because I feel like I haven't added highlight and I don't feel myself. So I'm gonna be using this Dior Backstage Glow 
and I like using this like a mix of these two over the cheek honestly when I got this back when it was like super trendy to have this like because it was just so aesthetically pleasing I feel like I'm such a trend hopper like this is not even that cute I'm not even gonna be able to use it but when I tell you it was literally one of the best purchases for highlighters that I've ever made it's literally the best highlighter because it is not like super glittery it's just like a very beautiful shimmer and I'm just like I I just love that and then today we're gonna be using the Tower 28 mascara I already tried this for the first time in my other video as well I'll come back when I have my eyelashes on <laughs> these are the lashes I'm wearing they're from Shein um, they have no number on them my lip combo was the Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Lush and it's like this beautiful purple mauve I don't know what you call it and then for the lip gloss I'm using the Lawless Forget the Filler lip plumper in the shade Velvet and it is also this like purple mauve color all right guys and that is it for my sephora get ready with me haul type slash thing so if you want to see the full unboxing of all of the products i got um it is on my tiktok so that will be in the description as well and on instagram i post more of my personal life and what i'm gonna upload here on youtube so that will be down there as well don't forget that all the products i use today are linked in the description so it makes it really nice and easy for you guys I will be doing an updated like what I loved and didn't love of the Sephora sale that will be on my channel pretty soon um yeah and I have a lot of new content for you guys coming up so I'm very excited about that um I hope you have an amazing day today and I love you very much bye